Hey guys, Jimmy Vegas here, and in this video we're going to talk about something in Unity called Vignette. Don't forget, click on the subscribe button and click that bell icon as well to stay up to date with everything I upload on video game development on my channel. With that in mind, let's get discussing. So, just a, a simple scene here which I have from the Asset Store. I think I've reviewed it at one point. Uh, so, what is Vignette? Now, it's spelled V I G. N E T E, and some people mispronounce it by saying Vignette or Vignette. It's actually pronounced Vignette. What is it exactly? Well, you may see in some video games or even in some uh, films, you do have around the edges a kind of like a black shadowy look that's always there. So, in order to get that, we need to actually use a post processing profile. And Vignette is with inside that post processing anyway. So if we create a new profile, I'm not going to name it anything. Uh, it'll do as it is. And just make sure we attach it to the camera so we can see any effects take place. Now, I'm going to close up all of these because I'm not going to be talking about them, only Vignette here. And if we tick this, we should be able to instantly see the scene looks like it gets darker. So if I go to the game view, turn it off, and then turn it on again. It does indeed look like the entire scene gets darker, but it really, really doesn't. It's actually just the four corners and slightly around the edges by default. If we change the intensity, we can see just how much it changes. So we can see here how focused it could get. So all of this here around the edges, this is the vignette. That is an effect that you can use. Something like a horror game would use this quite a lot. And it's really, really useful because it adds that extra depth of creepiness to your game. Obviously, smoothness, you can change it quite a lot. So you can look really refined there. The roundness, you can also make it quite square looking or like round, you know, like an oval kind of shape in this case. Uh, and again, if you tick rounded, it turns it into a circle or a square as it were. So there are many different ways that you can have your vignette and you can change the center completely. So what I'm going to do now is show you a quick effect. If I change this to zero and zero, it puts the vignette here and you could use this to your advantage. If we do this and change the intensity, gradually you could give it that effect of it gradually comes into this corner. We could also move it a little bit more if I put that back to zero and change that to minus 0 0.1, it moves just that little bit more. And again, if I do it as five, it disappears. So minus 0 0.15 and the vignette effect is somewhere down here in the bottom left corner. And once again, if we undo that, you could use that effect to kind of focus on something down here. So it doesn't necessarily have to be used to the effect of just around the screen. And always remember, if you get lost and confused with Vignette, you can always reset it by clicking this little thing here and going on Reset. And it puts it back to its original setting. Change the color as well. Red, intensity, quite high, smoothness. And you can see just how much it really resonates and gives a creepy, eerie look. You can also use the mask version, but realistically, there's, there's no point because we're just talking about that classic look of Vignette here, like so. So that's all Vignette really is. It's mostly used, I would say, in uh, horror style games. You're not likely to see it in a nice, bright, fluffy game, uh, you know, a polygon RPG style game. You're more likely to see it in something that resonates with this kind of scene, creepy and eerie. And I do like it, but I don't like it overdone like this. The default is usually fairly decent, maybe a little bit more intensity, but that vignette can really add to the visuals of a scene. So guys, I hope that's cleared up what vignette is, how it can be used and how you can play around with it. If you want to know any more, let me know in the comments below and I will see you around in the next video. Guys, thank you very much for watching.